Today we are going to discuss about linear equation or simple equations. So in this topic we are seeing how to solve the linear equation or the simple equations. So firstly we are going to discuss about the linear. What is the mean of this word linear and what is the meaning of the word equation? So firstly see that the linear means degree of the variable is 1. This is the most important thing is this the degree of the variable 1. So when the degree of the variable 1 that means this is a linear equation. So now what is the equation? Equation means a statement of equality in one variable is called an equation in that variable. Suppose x minus 2 equals to 1. So this is an equation. For some value of x, so for some value of x, this gives 1. So we know that if x equals to 3, then 3 minus 2 equals to 1. So see that if only x equals to 3, this gives 1. So the value of x is 3 here. So that means the equality here when x equals to 3. So that means this is a equation. Both sides are equal. Now see that how to solution of an equation. So you have to find the solution of equation. So how to solution? Solute this equation. So solution means you have to see that the LHS and RHS equals to are equal. So LHS means left hand side and RHS means right hand side. So you have to see that the both sides are equal. Then this is a solution of the equation. Now if we put in the left hand side, this is the left hand side part. This is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. If x equals to 3, if you put, then see that 3 minus 2 equals to 1. And the right, right hand side already 1 is there. That means LHS equals to RHS. So we can say that this is, this equation is verified. This equation is verified. Okay. So now we have to salute this equation and you have to find the value of x for this linear equation. And here x, here x is given, another variable is there, a to z, any variable we can use here, any alphabets. So these are introducing the variables, we know that these are the introducing as variable. So we are founding the variable to solute this equation. And this equation gives the root, that means x, the x is called a root of the equation, root of the equation okay the x is called root of the equation very important thing is root of the equation okay next topic now we are going to discuss about rule of transposition A very important thing is this very very important topic rule of transposition Read properly students, if you not understood this one time, if you re repeat this, okay. So what is the rule of transposition? The rule of transposition means the term on one side of the equation can be shifted into the other side will change its sign. So if the equation is given, suppose 2x plus 3 equals to 5. So 2x plus 3 equals to 5. This is one equation is given. And another equation is given. Suppose 3x minus 4 equals to 8. 
So two equations are there. You have to find the value of x here. So now see that you have to when you are finding the value of x. First we have to think that you have to put the variables in the one side and the numbers are another side. Now see that there is only one side variable is there. Both side not variable is there. So that means we have to just we are using implies why because one equal to there so we have to we have to, you, uh, uh, we have to use implies here so now see that 2x equals to 5 plus is going to the this side that means this is minus 3 so plus is going to opposite side that means this change the sign this is minus 3 here okay so that means you can write 2x equals to 2 and x equals to we are dividing this variable so 2 by 2 that means 1 okay so the value of x is 1 here now how can we know that this value is uh, okay or not so now you have to verify okay so x equals to 1 put it here so 2 into 1 2 into 1 the value of x is 1 so 2 into 1 this is 2 2 plus 3 5 so that means it's okay. It's verified. That means the value is right. Similarly, for the this sum, see that 3x equals to 8 minus 4 going to the right side. That means plus 4. So that means 3x equals to 12. So that means x equals to 12 by 3 so 12 by 3 means 4 so answer is 4 so x equals to 4 here so now put here 4 4 into 3 this is multiplication 3x that means 3 into x so multiplication is there so 3 into x so 3 into 4 that means 12 12 minus 4 this is 8 so 8 is the answer here this is verified okay note it down all of you now we are going to start exercise 13a. In 13a, 1a, 2. In 1a, 2, say that x plus 7 equals to 2. So now, it changes this sign in the opposite side. So x equals to 2 minus 7. Plus 7, this side minus 7. So that means x equals to minus 5. Okay? x equals to minus 5. If you put here x equals to minus 5, so minus 5 plus 7, this is 2. That means right hand side is proved. Now, all the problems are same. So, now I am reading number 6. In number 6, see that z minus 5 equals to minus 8. So, that means z equals to minus 8 plus 5. So, that means z equals to minus 3. Okay. So, z equals to minus 3 here. So, that means minus 3 minus 8 is minus 5. Minus 3 minus 5. This is minus 8. That means RHS LHS are equal here. Okay. We have to verify by your own. Okay. When you are solving the linear equations in the next exercise also, okay, when you are finding the variables, the value of x, value of y or value of z, whatever the variables are given, you have to just after the uh, finding the value of the variable, you put the in the main equation and see that that both sides are equal or not if equal then it's okay if not then you have to revise the sum for the clarifications okay now next problem in number two see that in number two in number two one see that x by three equals to six so that means this is multiplication only that means 6 by nothing is that means 6 by 1. So cross multiplication x into 1 that is x and 6 into 3 this is 18. So x equals to 18. Now if you put the value of 18 here so 18 by 3 is equals to 6 that means this is proved. Now number 3 in number 3 see that 2x by 4 equals to 3. Okay 2x by 4 equals to 3 that means this can be 2x equals to 12. That means x equals to 12 by 2. That means 6. Any one of any, any one of students can say that. Sir, we can do this process. 2x by 4 equals to 3. 
that means 2 and 4 is cancelled that means 2 that means x equals to 3 into 2 that is 6 yes you can do you can do your own process okay you can do your own process but the process will be clarified the process will be clarified if you put the value over there the x equals to 6 6 6 into 2 this is 12 12 by 4 that means 3 so LHS equals to RHS okay next one in number 3 you see that 2x minus 3 equals to 7 okay 2x minus 3 equals to 7 this is given so that means 2x equals to 7 minus 3 opposite side plus 3 so that means 2x equals to 10 so that means x equals to 10 by 2 division okay that means this is 5 so x equals to 5 is answer now put the value for verification so uh, 2 into 5 this is 10 10 minus 3 7 okay this is clarified okay next one next one any uh, of the sums from 4 5 and 6 all sums are equal so I'm choosing number 5 say that 4x minus 1 equals to 7 okay 4x minus 1 equals to 7 that means 4x equals to 7 minus 1 this side that means plus 1 so that means we can write 4x equals to 8 so that means x equals to 8 by 4 that means this is 2 so x equals to 2 okay x equals to 2 is the answer so now put the value over there so 4 into 2 that is 8 8 minus 1 7 RHS is 7 so this is proved okay now next one now in number 4 1 see that 2x minus 3 equals to minus 5 this is given so now we can write 2x equals to minus 5 plus 3 so that means 2x equals to minus 2 and x equals to minus 2 by 2 that means minus 1 so x equals to minus 1 so now put the value over there so see that 2 into minus 1 that means minus 2 minus 2 minus 3 that means minus 5 okay now number 2 in number 2 we can write see that 4y plus 5 4y plus 5 equals to minus 3 this is given so we can write here 4y equals to minus 3 minus 5 because plus 5 opposite side minus 5 so 4y equals to minus 8 that means y equals to minus 8 by 4 so that means 2 so minus 2 so a y equals to minus 2 here okay so y equals to minus 2 so that means put it here 4 into minus 2 that means minus 8 minus 8 plus 5 this equals to minus 3 so the answer is minus 3 okay so the list of the sums are homework thank you all of you take care Bye for today.